All right, hot off the press. Today, I'm gonna to show you this new AI, which can actually generate words really well. So here are a few examples. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one. And we'll go over more details on how to generate this and we'll look at more examples and its limitations. But here's the thing. Traditionally, if you used Stable Diffusion or Dolly or even Midjourney, it could not generate letters and words very well. Here's an example from Stable Diffusion. Here's another one from Stable Diffusion. You can see it doesn't really understand words. So it's pretty much impossible for you to, you know, have an image with legitimate words and letters. But today there's this platform called Ideogram, which I will link to in the description below. So let's check out a few examples. Not only can it generate images, as you can see here, but it claims to be the best with generating legitimate words. So here's one example from a user. So you can see the prompt is this, a pop art style strawberry with bold outlines, a vibrant red color textured with bende pattern dots with berry bliss text. So you can see berry bliss is in quotes here. And you can see that it indeed has generated the words berry bliss perfectly in this design. And actually when you click generate it, gives you four images. So here's another one also with Berry Bliss perfectly here. Here's another one with Berry Bliss. And finally, this one also says Berry Bliss. So pretty good so far. Let's look at another example. So here is Echoes of Silence. Here's the prompt. Imagine an image that captures the serene beauty of a misty mountain retreat at dawn. The scene is centered around the phrase echoes of silence in quotes, written in a soft serene typeface that seems to merge with the mist enveloping the mountains. So you can see here it is kind of like merging with the mist in the mountain. It's following the prompt very well. Here's another example, echoes of silence. Again, it gets the words perfectly and it is kind of like blending in with the mist in the mountains. Here's another one, Echoes of Silence. You can see here is where you start to pick up some flaws. Same with this curve below the C here. But other than that, overall it still looks pretty good compared to previous image generation tools. And finally, here's another one. So overall, I am impressed. I mean, if you compare this with like what Stable Diffusion has given us in the past, this is definitely a significant step better. So let's look at a few more examples. You can see it can generate images of different styles as well. This is funny. Don't worry, be cappy. And this is exactly what the prompt states. So here's a detailed pencil sketch emphasizing its fur texture, relaxed posture, and gentle eyes with don't be worry, cappy text. So this does look like a pencil sketch. This does look like a capybara. If you've been following our channel, I've been testing out generating capybara photos for some videos. And a lot of the time, again, for stable diffusion, unless you add in a capybara Laura, it's not able to generate capybaras very well. But in this case, it does look like a capybara. Here's another one. Don't worry, be cappy. I mean, this looks even better. This is indeed a pencil sketch and of a capybara in a relaxed posture. Here's another one. Don't worry, be cappy. And finally, this one. So these are really good. You can see even the, like the fonts of the words are different in these four images. So you can choose, you know, which one works best for you. I'm trying to find some flaws here now. So let's see this one. Rainy Lynn's Closet. This is very good still. What about this one? Rainy Lynn's Closet. Ah, here we go. So you can see a flaw here. Modest Girls Boutique is what they specified in the prompt, but here they misspelled modest. I think it's because they didn't put this in quotes. They only put Rainy Lynn's Closet in quotes, but it adds this Modest Girls at the top, which is not in quotes, so somehow that caused it to misspell it. Again, same with this one. So Rainy Lynn's Closet, it got correctly, but then this text down here, I'm guessing it's something boutique, but it's not able to spell this right or get this correct. So I'm gonna keep this in mind when I try this out, which is for all the text that I want to have in the image, it has to be in quotes. All right, so this is good. You can see there's no other text here. So Rainy Lynn's Closet, it got these words correct. Let's look at this one. Here's another flaw. So. The prompt is a sleek modern logo for AZM Agency, featuring the company name in bold capital letters. So they did add in a quote for AZM, but you can see this is not AZM. This is like triple, triple A's. And then agency, which they did not put in quotes, was added here. And the letters are kind of weird here. This one, they kind of got AZM, but again, the letters are messed up. 
This one is slightly better, but over here, this does not look like an M, right? At this top right corner of the M, I believe that is also a flaw. And then here's another one, which, you know, the M doesn't really look like an M. So there are limitations to this depending on your input. Here's another one. Good night works very well, as you can see here. Text good night in a font shaped like pillows. Fluffy, sheep toy, bed landscape, moon, stars, a few white feathers, etc., etc. So let's look at the four generations. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. The third one. And the fourth one. Looks very, very good. And the words are indeed accurate. Again, if you just compare this with previous versions of Stable Diffusion, and if you look at some like Good Night generations, these look really awful. Same with like this one. So this new ideogram tool definitely is a lot better if you need to generate words in your image. All right, so let's try this out. You do need to sign up for free or log into your account first. And then let me show you the pricing real quick. There is a free plan where you get 25 prompts per day. And again, one prompt gives you four images, so you get a very generous 100 images per day. And then you get the images in compressed JPEG format, which honestly to me doesn't really make a difference. I don't really mind that, so it's okay for me. And the nice thing is for all of these plans, whether it's paid or free, you are not restricted in the copyright of your output. You can use this wherever you want. Now, if you do want to go above 100 images per day, then you can pay for the basic or the plus plan, which goes for 7 USD per month or 16 USD per month, and it gives you a lot more images. All right, so pretty simple. Let's jump in and use it. So all you have to do is type in your prompt at the top here. Now, this magic prompt option, I usually leave it auto. And what this does is you enter in your prompt, but it refines your prompt further before feeding it to the AI. So for example, you can see here, it misspelled coffee, by the way, that this is what the user inputted as the prompt, but the magic prompt refines it further. So it, it adds more like variation, adds more keywords to the prompt before it feeds it to the AI. So we'll leave that as auto. And then for the ratio, let's do one-to-one -one model, we can leave it as one, which is the most advanced model. And then here's the thing with the free plan, all your generations are public. So on the home page, people could see your generation. You need to subscribe to the paid plan to set this in private mode. So if I click private, you can see this pop-up message appear. All right, so let's try this out. Let's do a futuristic logo with the text AI search. And this refers to our website, by the way. So if you're not aware of this, we built a site where you can find all the AI tools and apps out there, as well as search for jobs in AI, machine learning, data science, etc. So definitely check that site out. But let's say I want to make a logo for my website called AI Search. I'm just going to type this in a futuristic logo with the text AI Search. And then you can also add in all these keywords here. I'm just going to leave it as is for now and see what it gives me. And you can see all of these are not bad. This one looks, you know, the most accurate in terms of the letters here. This one, the C is kind of messed up. AIS, I really like this. This is quite creative. And then here, AI search. Again, this is really good. So to download any of these images, you can either right click and then save image as, or click on the three dots here and then click download. All right, let's try something else. Let's try a relaxing poster with text, coffee, tea, or me. And then let's do typography. Let's do illustration and painting. This time, let's set this to vertical, so nine to 16. Again, we'll leave the magic prompt as auto and the model as one, which is the most advanced model, and then click generate. Whoa, this is really good. So I would say my advice is to keep these prompts simple. You can see a lot of other users, they their prompt is too complex like this one. It's really complex. And even though they specified coffee in quotes here, it misspelled coffee. I think it's just because the, the prompt is too complicated. But if you keep it simple like mine, a relaxing poster with text, coffee, tea, or me, it generates this really well. I don't see any flaws with the words. So there you have it. This is ideogram. Again, you get 25 generations per day. It refreshes every day. And one generation is four images. So you get 100 images per day. It's a very generous amount for the free plan. So definitely check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content where we review the latest and coolest AI tools for you.